What's up, guys? Welcome back to the Sidekick Agenda. My name is Sidekick, and on the agenda today, we're going to continue. We're going to continue the Legend of Zelda: Twilight Princess. In the last episode, we made our way through all of the Temple of Time, except for the boss, and today we're going to take on the boss. So let's just uh, waste no time and get into it. <coughs> and I'm going to say this right now: if the boss doesn't take that long, I'm not going to continue because I didn't plan anything after the bus so this will probably be a shorter ish episode anyway this is an area and there's lights uh, shining down wait. Uh, wait oh my goodness oh my goodness that is Twilight Arachnid Armagoma so, this is Goma. Alright, two things we're going to need for this fight right off the bat. Arrows and the Dominion Rod, if I can get it. Thank you. Um, are you going to stop moving? Yes, you do. And you have laser eyes! So this is Goma. Goma is sort of been... A boss in Legend of Zelda since the uh, since Ocarina of Time. Oh, I hit her! All right, now what I need to do is I need to go and Dominion Rod this guy over here and uh, smash her. So yeah, what I think Goma is is I think she is the final, like, a huge, just a huge one of those spider things. Gotcha. Oh, my goodness. That was frightening. Dude. Oh, my goodness. You were too slow. Oh, my goodness. Really? I was too slow, so she got up. Goma is a she. Has always been a she. So, yeah, I'm going to refer to her as a she. Because that's what I believe she is, is a she. Um, let's turn around and get it. And swing. Yeah. Oh my goodness, get away from me. Yeah, as, as I said, I have a slight fear of spiders, so... Uh, Goma is not something... Wait, did I not hit her with the, with the first statue? I must not have, because she would have done this earlier, I feel, if, if I had. All of you die. Each and every one of you can die. Oh my goodness, she's lasering. She's lasering. She's lasering. Alright, where are you? Don't go over there. Yeah, come back over here. Open your eye. Wait, wait, wait. Open your eye. Open your eye, you bitch. Don't do it over there. Oh, you did it over there. Oh, I got you. Oh, I got you. That is such good news. Okay. Uh. Oh, I missed. All right. So I need to. No, I need to. I need arrows. There we go. Just as I was saying, this is probably going to be a shorter episode, because the boss fight, I take forever in killing the boss. Oh my goodness. Right above me, that was not... <laughs> that was not supposed to happen. I was not supposed to be right under the light, because you cannot kill them if you're right under the light. So, yeah. Or kill her if you're right under the light, I should say. Oh, got her. Alright, 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 alright. 
Dominion Rod. And smash. Oh, there goes my microphone. Uh, readjust, readjust. Alright. It's not in perfect position, but it's in a position that it'll work. That's a perfect, that was a horrible time to knock over my microphone. Alright. Oh, you're shooting out little babies. I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it, I don't like it. Alright, well I killed a few of them before they hatched. So yes, this just sort of proves that Goma is the ultimate, uh, uh just a giant, like the ultimate form of one of these spiders. <laughs> She's the, the spider queen, you might say, probably. I think that's what, spiders have queens, right? I don't know. Alright, where are you? Am I basically right in the middle? Oh, frick! Ah! Oh, come on. I have two fairies and a uh, rare chew jelly if I, fa if I do need them, but I'm hoping I don't need them. Because that would be not... not... um... Not helpful. All right, I killed her. Yeah, curl up into a ball. All right, done. Wait, what? The eye is a spider. Oh, my goodness. This was so, so surprising to me when I first saw it. Anyway, it's not that hard. You really just have to run up and slice the eye once, and it, it goes away. So, really, it, they build up this whole, you're not done with the boss yet, and then you really are, because it's so easy. Three. Of the mirror shards are ours. Just one left. <clears throat> okay. Link. You saw how nasty that monster was, right? Yeah. The evil within the shards is more powerful than you can imagine. I, don't know, I just saw what it did. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong. Anyway. You know, we could be assembling something truly terrible here. If it could mean something that will... If it could be something that we'll ultimately have to destroy... Or no, it could be something we have to ultimately have to destroy. Is what she said. You have to hurry. Let's find the last shard, Link. Alright, let's do it. We have to reach the sky. That's where the last shard is supposed to be. That's right. In the heavens, they said. Alright, where's that? There it is. We got a heart container! Cool, so 15 hearts. We only have a few containers left. Alright, yes, we're done here. There were a few chests we missed, but ultimately we got all the heart pieces and everything. So, yeah. We're, we're, we're all cool. Where does this take us to? Oh yes, let's save. Very important that we save. Alright. So, let's see. Ah, it puts us right here, actually. So we could have actually just... come here after we were done in the temple, I suppose. But I wanted to get that, because... I felt it was important to get... that heart piece and that Poe. Alright. Let's get out of here so we can end the episode then. Like I said, it did end up actually being a shorter episode. Um, but yeah, this is, I mean, yeah. Well done, adventurer. Oh, hey, Oko. Oko sees what she was looking for. Goodness, yes, it's the Dominion Rod. Who found in the temple. 
But that thing has been around for quite some time. I can see here, I can see from here, that its magic has been exhausted. <coughs> oh, what am I to, oh, what am I to, I thought I had the, at last could return to the sky. <coughs> and I've completely forgotten the spell that would once again bestow it with magic. It cannot be helped. I suppose I'll just have to look for the statues that respond to the rod. It's decided that that's what we'll do. That's what we'll do indeed. Well, Oko's on her way. See you again. Bye, Oko. I won't miss you. Hey, wait. What did you do to the rod? What did you do to the d Dominion rod? She's gone. I suppose a useless rod isn't is really just going to be more baggage. But what do we but what are you going to do? Hmm. Did she say something about returning to the sky? The last piece of the mirror is also supposed to be supposed to be in the heavens. If we can restore magic to the Dominion rod, maybe it'll come in handy. Maybe. All right. So, um, yeah, after that talk, this looks like a good place to stop. We beat the boss, and, um, let me just show you real quick. The Dominion Rod is now useless. It's basically just a bludgeoning weapon, and I'm not even sure it's good at, well, let me see. Yeah, it doesn't even look like it's a good bludgeoning weapon. Um, so, yeah. We beat the boss and had a talk with Oko, and she ran off and did a thing. So, yeah, this looks like a good place to stop. So, thank you all for watching. Um, if you like this episode, you can let me know by liking, commenting, and or subscribing. And in the next episode, hopefully we can uh, figure out what's wrong with the rod and exactly what we need to do to make it work again. So, thank you all for watching. See you next time. Later.